broadly the goals of the study are to better understand why there's been poor calf recruitment in Hunting yeah, District 250. Yeah, we've got a mere tag. In the late spring of 2011, researchers headed to the calving grounds of the Upper Bitterroot Valley to locate newborn elk and place small transmitters on their ear. Although the scientists are able to determine the general location of the elk calves by tracking the audio pulse of the ear tags, the main purpose is to determine if the calf is alive or dead. When the animal is alive and moving, the pulse rate is one beat per second. The ear tag has been stationary for six hours, then we get a different pulse rate, and that tells us that the calf uh, is probably dead, and then as quick as we can, we get in to the scene and try and determine what killed the calf. This is uh, it's one of our calves we found oh, about a, a week or so ago. When we first got here, the, there was a lot of evidence of wolf sign. There was wolf tracks, beds were found oh, not too far away. And this is a um, calf that was killed about two weeks ago. What we have here is a, a scratch pile, which is pretty uh, indicative of a, of a cat. Another thing that's pretty typical of cats is that they pluck hair, and so you end up with um, just a lot of loose hair to kill site. If we don't get to them pretty quickly, it becomes pretty difficult between other scavengers coming in and feeding on it and, and snow coming down and, and covering tracks. The end goal of the project will be to develop a, a population modeling tool that managers can use to balance the number of wolves and lions and bears and elk on the landscape. Right now, biologists are about three quarters of the way into the first year of the project. With the plan in place to monitor elk calf survival for the full year, each of three consecutive years. This is Mike Gurnett out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.